What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another highly combustible reaction. We're going to be jumping into the Euro Caribbean island of Curacao. Uh, let's check it out. Let's see what we got. Hey, I honestly don't know that much about this place. I don't even know. I mean, I only know what we've seen from maps and stuff. Uh, let's find out more about it. Let's see what we got. You guys asked for it. I'm here with it. If you guys enjoy it, definitely go show Sebastian some love on his channel. It's down inside of the description with the original video link. Let's go. It's not every day that you think about the possessions of former European colonial powers. But you should know that not all former colonies have gained complete independence. Some still have strong ties with the old empires. I mean, that makes sense. Is one such place. It makes sense that if you were formerly conquered by someone, or formerly owned by someone, or formerly inhabited by somebody, by a different country, then yeah, you probably would still remain, even if you, if you formerly belonged to that country, you're going to still have some sort of ties to them, whether or not you're with them anymore or not. And that's what we're here to discuss today. Hello, and welcome to 7 Facts. Welcome to Curaçao, a country of 160,000 found in the Southern Caribbean and part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands? Yep. That would be my winter home. Curaçao is a lovely island nation off the coast of Venezuela that's not an independent country but part of a European kingdom. It's not the only one either. Together with several other islands, this area is actually called the Dutch Caribbean. We knew that there was the Dutch Caribbean. We haven't heard that much about any individual islands, though. So. Curaçao is, of course, a tropical paradise, but only because the people make it so. While the climate here is great and constant throughout the year, it is a semi-arid island with not a lot of precipitation. In fact, Curaçao is actually made of two islands, mainland Curaçao and a small uninhabited island called Klein Curaçao, which is actually a desert island. Nevertheless, Curaçao is a top destination for tourists and it's definitely worth a couple of more minutes of your time to learn about it. So let's get right to it then, shall we? Let's do it! Damn, I'm ready! Curaçao became an inhabited island a long time ago. The first traces of human habitation are almost 5,000 years old. But that's way too far in the past for us to talk about today. That's way Much more recently, far. starting from the 5th century AD, the Kakatio Arawaks arrived in Curaçao and continued to live there relatively peacefully. Until, that is, the Europeans discovered the place. Spanish explorer Alonso de Ojeda arrived at Curaçao in 1499 and claimed it for Spain. Around 2,000 Caquetillos lived there at the time, but in just 15 years, the vast majority were enslaved and taken by force to Hispaniola. Wow! But in 1634, the Spanish lost the island in favor of the Dutch West India Company. This is basically how Curaçao became and remained a Dutch territory. Unfortunately, the Dutch West India Company continued the legacy of slave trading, but this time bringing slaves from Africa. Hey, there's a lot of countries out there guilty of using the backs of people to get ahead. They're using the backs of people to build that legacy. 100%. It goes way, 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 way back. Luckily, uh, it's mostly been stomped out today. There is still a few places that are questionable. Very questionable. In the next couple of centuries, slave trading was the main source of income in Curaçao. Thousands of African slaves were brought here before Sadly. they were sold off to their final owners and shipped somewhere else in the Americas. It wasn't until 1863 that slavery was abolished by the Dutch. The capital city of Curaçao is Willemstad. It is one of the most beautiful cities in the Caribbean region. The vast it's majority of the island's too. population lives here, so Willemstad is a busy and cosmopolitan city. The historic quarters of Willemstad definitely got that Dutch look about it with these houses like this. With their beautiful and colorful colonial architecture, have been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. That's Coming awesome. Coming to Curaçao to visit the city alone is already worth the trip. But of course, you'll get a lot more than just beautiful architecture. Willemstad is filled to the brim with shops, hotels, restaurants, museums and casinos. And the best part is that when you get tired of the bustling atmosphere of a big city, you can then chill in one of the island's many beaches and resorts. 
When it comes to the etymology of the island's name, things aren't as clear as they should be. One explanation for the name is that it's an endonym. The indigenous people called themselves Curaçaos. This theory is backed up by very early accounts, since Spanish explorers already referred to the locals as Indios Curaçaos. If this is true, we have no idea what the word actually means. That's true. On the other hand, wow. there is a persistent story that kind of makes more sense. In the early years of European exploration, many sailors often got scurvy, a very unpleasant disease caused by a lack of vitamin C. According to some accounts, either Portuguese or Spanish sailors who were ill were left on the island now known as Curaçao. When their ship returned, some had recovered, likely cured from scurvy after eating fruit with vitamin C. From then on, supposedly, the Portuguese referred to this as Ilha de Curaçao, or Island of Healing, or the Spanish as Isla de Curacion. But there's also the Portuguese word for heart, Curaçao, which sounds very familiar That's to Curaçao. Very. So, I guess the jury's still out on this one. Yeah, the jury's most certainly still out on that one. I'd be interested to know where each of those branches go, though. While Curaçao may look like a peaceful tropical paradise where nothing bad ever happens, the country does have its fair share of problems. Its history is dotted with occasional revolts, the biggest one being the 1969 Curaçao Uprising. The riots lasted for three days and started from a worker strike that turned violent. There I mean, you're doing pretty good though, if it hasn't happened since the 60s. There was widespread looting and destruction of buildings and vehicles. At the time, the island's economy, after decades of prosperity brought about by the oil industry, was in decline and unemployment was rising. That oil, man, that oil! In addition, the island ceased to be a colony, but was in turn included into the semi-independent Netherlands Antilles. Under this arrangement, Curaçao was still part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, and anti-colonial activists decried the status as just a continuation of colonial rule. Racism and discrimination against black citizens was still rampant. So the grievances of the people finally erupted in a violent uprising. Stores and factories were attacked, cars were set on fire, dozens were injured and two people died. But, as it rarely happens, the rioters achieved their goals. Higher wages were promised and the local government resigned. This was a pivotal moment in the history of Curaçao, as it marked the beginning of a proper Curaçaoan national identity. All right. Curaçao is a top tourist destination, but they don't rely on tourism as much as other Caribbean countries. Its economy is actually well developed and diversified, supporting a high standard of living. Tourism is, however, very important. Cruise ships dock... Tourism is very important to any country that gets their money from oil. Dubai is the same way. Look at Dubai. They're big. Dubai decided, hey, you know what? We're eventually, one day, we might run out of oil. and We might need something else to sustain us. Now it's a bustling tourist mecca. Like, people go in there left and right. Everyone who has oil understands that the oil might eventually not be there. You gotta build something else. You gotta, while you got the money, you better build something that people are into. ...in the country's ports pretty much constantly. The island isn't good just for sunbathing. Scuba diving, snorkeling, surfing, or just having a walk in the historic water. cities of the island are just some of the things you can do here. Not surprisingly, Curaçao has been named as the top cruise destination in the Southern Caribbean. So what are you waiting for? Book your ticket right now. No kidding. Before the end of the video, let's talk about this country's status. As I said, it's not independent. It's a part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. But it does have a generous autonomy, with the Kingdom handling defense and foreign policies, although it can and does interfere whenever it considers it to be necessary. In this political arrangement, Curaçao inhabitants are considered to be Dutch nationals and by extent citizens of the European Union. The country itself, however, isn't a part of the EU, which means that they don't That's have to intriguing. comply with European laws. They can, however, qualify for European funds under some conditions. The euro isn't the local currency, the Netherlands Antilles Guilder is, although US dollars can also be used. 
While this complicated arrangement does seem to work, it isn't necessarily supported by everyone and there is a local wish for more autonomy and complete independence. As of making this video, however, no such plans are being discussed on a political level. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Leave your comments downstairs and don't forget there's a Patreon page where you can support this channel. I see a Ruba I hope to see too. you next time. Bye. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Euro Caribbean island of Curacao. Hey, seriously, that's beautiful. I would definitely find myself there because I'm a tropical kind of person. If you guys enjoyed it, definitely go sub Sebastian some love. We already subbed up. We've already hit the like button. You should do the same. It's down inside the description. Anything else that you want me to learn about, send it my way. Uh, hit the like button here if you liked it. The dislike button if you dislike it. Check out the other video up there or one of the guys up here. Until the next one, how they can possible. You guys be happy, healthy, safe. I love you to the moon and back. Peace.